Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building this Canadian National Fairbanks Moore Sea Liner locomotive. And this one is unique in that it has a two axle truck on the front, but a three axle truck on the back. Because the passenger versions of these Sea Liners added in steam generators to power the passenger cars. And it needed an extra axle on the back to support the weight of that. So this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off with the rear coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under that, we're going to put a sideways dark oak vent scape. Then in front of that, in the middle, we're going to add three more vent gates coming forward up the center. Then at the end of it here, we'll put a vent gate on either rail going sideways here. Then above this, we'll do a 3x3 three three of polished black stone brick block in the middle, and another 3x3 three three above that. Come back here in the middle, put a door here, and an iron trap door in front of it. Then we need to get a sideways lightning rod on either side of this trap door here. Then we'll come down underneath here on this second layer, open a fence gate here, come to the other side, and open a fence gate right here. Then right in front of this on bottom, put a netherite wheel on each rail, and in the middle another brick block and another brick slab. Then a sideways fence gate, another fence gate, then another brick slab, another brick block, then we're gonna do three fence gates in the middle, then another brick slab, and another brick block. Then take out another right for the wheels, one here, one here. Same thing on this side. Then put a fence gate on the ends of these wheels. Then in these gaps between them here, we're going to put four sideways lightning rods in all four of these gaps here. Then, once we have that, we'll come through and put a hopper on the side of all six of the wheels here. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then do the same thing on this side, a wither skeleton skull on the side of each of these hoppers. Then take deep slate tile stair and put one against each of these two hoppers and two deep slate tile slabs on the bottom middle, and then two fence gates in the middle on the side. And we'll do that on all four of these gaps. So a stair here and here, two slabs, and two fence gates. And then of course we'll do the same thing on this side here, just repeating that process. And one more to go, we'll do the same thing right here. Just like that. Then we'll come on this top middle on the second layer and do a line of polished blackstone brick block up the middle till you're aligned with these fence gates. And then on the side of it, a full row of fence gates up here. Then same thing over here, do a full row of fence gates on this side. Then come in front of it with blackstone brick blocks again. And on this bottom middle, we're gonna go three wide with it. And then we're going to make it six blocks long, so a three by six. On the side here, do a row of upside down polished blackstone brick stairs facing outward, and a row of upside down stairs on this side as well. Then on the second layer, we're going to cover the whole top of this with polished blackstone brick block. Then on the side on the front here, we're going to do a mangrove button, a dark oak sign, skip one a sign, skip one a sign. Repeat it on this side, so three signs every other block, and a button at the front. 
Then in front of this, on the very bottom, we'll put a bed skate on each rail. Then in front of that in the center, another brick block, another brick slab, two fence skates, another brick slab, and another brick block. Then take out another right for the wheels, one here, one here. Same thing on this side. Then right here, we'll put four sideways lightning rods on either side. Then a fence gate on either of these wheels up here, and then put a hopper on all four of these wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Then we'll take deep slate tile stairs, one up against this hopper, one against this one, two deep slate tile slabs in the middle, and then two fence gates on the middle side. And then repeat it on this side. So a stair here, a stair here, two slabs in the middle, two fence gates right here. Now come up right in front of these fence gates and on the next block forward on bottom, we need to put five upside down, backward facing, black stone brick stairs. Then five black stone brick blocks across the top. In front of it, two rows of three black stone brick blocks in the center and two black stained glass pane on either of these corners. Take out a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to this middle top block here for the coupler. Under a fence gate, open a fence gate on either side of that, then a lightning rod here and one here. Then come up in between here and do a line of black stone brick blocks up this center. Then a line of fence gates across here and a line of fence gates on this side as well. Next, come stand up here and crouch, and we'll put a single deep slate tile slab above all four of these hoppers. Then we're gonna put four dark oak trap doors here, and four right here. Come out here and put a skeleton skull above each wheel. Same thing on this side. Then we'll crouch again, and we're gonna put a lightning rod here and here. One here, and one here. Then we'll come to the back, stand up here and crouch. And we're gonna put a deep slate tile slab on top of all six of these hoppers back here. Then, four dark oak trap doors here, four on this side, then four here, and four on this side. Then we're going to put a skeleton skull above this first wheel and above the very back wheel. And that same thing on this side, one here, one here. Come back up here and crouch. Put a lightning rod here and here. Then one here and one here. Then come up front, one block in from the end and go do three black stone brick blocks in the middle. And then we're going to bring that back across this top layer, three wide in the center. And we'll bring it all the way down to the other end of the locomotive here. Right to the back. So it should look like this. And we'll come back up front. Now come on top of the front up here and put three red nether brick slabs across. Then on the side here, we'll do nine red nether brick slabs coming back and nine on this side. Then behind that, switch to black stone brick slabs and bring that all the way down to the rear end on the top edge. And then same thing on this side, a full row of black stone brick slabs on the top edge up here. Just like that. Now I'll come on top of the front in the center, we'll do a red concrete, a white, and a red. Then three red stained glass panes on either side of it. Behind that, a three by three of red concrete in the middle. Then three red stained glass panes on this side, and three on this side. Behind it, two columns of three red concrete on either outside edge. Then across here, three black concrete. Then on this top middle, a T-shape of mangrove trapdoors. 
than a dark oak trapdoor here and here. In the middle, a black stained glass pane and a light blue one on either side. Behind it, two light blue stained glass blocks, black concrete, two stained glass blocks. Then on the outer edge behind this, we're going to come back with red concrete by four blocks on each side and make it three blocks tall. Then we'll do a red concrete at each end and two light blue stained glass panes in the middle of each side. Then a white stained glass pane here and one here. Then we're going to come behind this here and we're actually going to take this slab out, put a red nether brick stair, then two upside down stairs above it, then a door. Do the same thing on this side, change this to a stair, two upside down stairs above it, then a door. Then behind this, on either side, a column of three red concrete and a light blue stained glass block on the top of each side. Then behind this on each side, a black concrete, two red above it. Then a black on each top corner. Behind this, two black concrete on either side and a red. Behind that, a column of three black concrete on either side. Then behind that, we're going to do a white concrete on the bottom of each side and then two black. Behind that, two white and then a black on top. Behind that, a column of three white concrete on either side. Then behind that, a black and two white. Then two black and a white. Then three black concrete on each side. Then a white and two black. Then two white and a black. Then three white on either side. Then a black and two white. Then two black and a white. Then three black. Then a white and two black. Then two white and a black. Then three white on either side. Then a black and two white. Then two black and a white. And then three black on either side. Then we'll come up and around this door with black concrete back here. And three black concrete on this top middle of the back. Then we're going to come down here. We're actually going to knock out these two blocks. And we're going to replace them with two black shulker boxes. Do the same thing on this side. Change these two to black shulker boxes. Then on either side of this, we're going to put two birch fences. And on the bottom middle, a dark oak fence cake. Repeat it on this side. So two birch fences on either side of this and a fence gate down here. Then on the top, we're going to put a black concrete in each corner. Then in front of that, on either side of the top, we're going to put two deep slate tile walls coming forward and then four black concrete. In front of that, a full line of deep slate tile walls across here up to the front. Same thing there, a full line of walls on that side. Then there's another door on the side here. So we're going to come in here and we're going to knock out these two blocks and put a door here. Then down here, a fence gate and three birch fences on either side of that door. Then repeat it on this side. We're going to change these two to a door. A fence gate on bottom three birch fences on either side and actually that door is raised up by one so we need a step underneath it so I'm gonna come in and get a black stone brick stair change this block under the door to a stair that's upside down and replace the door same thing here this block down here needs to be an upside down stair and then put the door on then we'll come up to the front door and we need four birch fences coming up on either side of the door. I accidentally knocked it out there. 
So four here, and four here. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Four fences here, and four here. Next, we'll come to the very back. Put three black concrete on this top middle. And then a black stone button on either side of it. Then in front of this, three more black concrete. Then one in the middle with a cobble deep slate on either side. Then two rows of three black concrete. Then a cobble deep slate over there. And two black concrete here. Then in front of this, we're just going to fill the rest of this top middle, three wide with black concrete. And we're going to bring it all the way forward. And we're going to come right up front until we're on top of these stained glass blocks here. Then we're going to take out a deep slate tile slab, put one on this first wall here, and one on this side on the first wall. In front of that, we'll switch to blackstone brick slabs and do a line of slabs coming forward right here until you're above the front. And we'll do the same thing on this side. A line of slabs right here to the front. Then come behind this one and do a full line of blackstone brick slabs coming back all the way to the back of the locomotive here. And of course, same thing on this side. Full line of blackstone brick slabs here. And bring it all the way up. Then we're going to come on top of the back and put an oak trap door on these three cobble deep slates. Skip two blocks forward and do a flower pot on either side. Then we'll come up here where the steep slate tile slab is, do a plus shape up here of blackstone brick slabs, change the middle to cobble deep slate, put an oak trap door in. Then on the front middle open a fence gate here and a sideways one behind it and a blackstone button on either side behind that and then a bell right here. And now the top is done. Now we're going to come up on the side of the cab here, on bottom, in front of these fences, and change these three blocks to red shulker boxes. And we'll do the same thing over here, change these three to red shulker boxes. Then put a birch fence gate here, and a birch fence gate here. Then right here we're going to put a mangrove button, come back here, and a blackstone button is going to go right here. Repeat it on this side, so we put a black sun button right here, and a mangrove button right there. Then we need to make a banner, so we're going to come into a loom with a light blue banner and black dye. And we're going to put a black border on it, then make the bottom half red. Then we're going to come out where this side door is, we're going to crouch and put a black banner over it. And where this main cab door is, we're going to put the banner we made over that one. Then we'll repeat it on the other side. So put this banner we made over this door. And then we'll put a black banner over this door here. Then we're going to detail the back end here. So on either side of the bottom here, we're going to put a black stump button and a fence gate above each one. Then on either side of the door, we're going to close two dark oak trap doors. Then three across the top. Another three. And another three. Then over on this side, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then we'll come to the interior. So we'll come down inside here, and right here, behind the door, we're going to do this shape of polished andesite slabs, then switch to polished andesite blocks and start bringing it forward to fill in this floor. And we're going to bring it up right behind where the doors are up here, then three right here behind the doors then a stair on either side. In front of this, we'll throw some sea lanterns down here for hidden lighting, and we'll cover this floor in with polished andesite slabs coming forward.
then polish andesite under the windows, one in the middle here with two levers on it. Up here, a glow item frame with a recovery compass. Turn around and put a stair on either side for seats. Back here, we're going to put two blast furnaces in the middle. And then we're going to grab a door and put a door on either side. And then we'll come through here to do the engine compartment. Back here in the middle, we're going to put two blast furnaces on bottom. And then above that, we'll do a 2x2 two two of netherite blocks. Then behind this, we're going to do eight sideways anvils up the center. Then eight netherite above those. And come through and put eight polished blackstone buttons on the side of each netherite block. And then same thing on this side. Then we'll come up top and put a row of anvils on the top of this. Then back here, two sideways end rods. Then two rows of three smooth stone blocks, one on the top middle, a brewing stand here and here. Then we'll do this shape of polished deep slate walls, a two by two of smooth stone here, then up here, a brewing stand and a hopper. And now the interior is completed here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Canadian National Fairbanks Morris Sea Liner locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.